Hey third graders, I'm missing you all so much right now and I can't wait to see you soon. The materials you're going to need to complete your work for each day is a pencil, pen, crayon, or marker, anything you have at home that you can write with. You're also going to need a notebook, but if you don't have a notebook, complete your work for each day on a piece of paper. We're going to start off by discussing the Chapter 1, Adaptations in Land Environment and Vocabulary, and also the big idea. The big idea for Chapter 1 is, what are adaptations and how do they help living things survive? We're going to have to think about this question throughout our readings this whole week. Our first vocabulary word is environment. An environment is all the living and non-living things in a place. Our second vocabulary word is biome. A biome is a place with certain kinds of living and non-living things. Our third vocabulary word is adaptation. An adaptation is a body part or way of acting that helps a living thing survive. Our fourth vocabulary word is desert. A desert is a place with hot, dry weather. Our fifth vocabulary word is migrate. Migrate is to move from one place to another. Our sixth vocabulary word is grassland. A grassland is a place with many grasses. Our seventh vocabulary word is forest. Forest is a place with many trees. Our eighth vocabulary word is mimicry. Mimicry is when one thing pretends to be another thing. And our last and final vocabulary word for chapter one is Arctic Tundra. Arctic Tundra is a cold place above the Arctic Circle. Our first vocabulary word is environment. An environment is all the living and non-living things in a place. Our second vocabulary word is biome. A biome is a place with certain kinds of living and non-living things. Our third vocabulary word is adaptation. An adaptation is a body part or way of acting that helps a living thing survive. Our fourth vocabulary word is desert. A desert is a place with hot, dry weather. Our fifth vocabulary word is migrate. Migrate is to move from one place to another. Our sixth vocabulary word is grassland. A grassland is a place with many grasses. Our seventh vocabulary word is forest. Forest is a place with many trees. Our eighth vocabulary word is mimicry. Mimicry is when one thing pretends to be another thing. And our last and final vocabulary word for chapter one is Arctic tundra. Arctic tundra is a cold place above the Arctic circle. Our purpose for reading today is to be able to explain what an arctic tundra is. What is an arctic tundra? The arctic tundra is a cold biome above the arctic circle. Winters are long, dark, and very cold. Few plants and animals can be found. In the middle of winter, the sun never rises. In the middle of sun summer, the sun never sets. Part of the tundra stays frozen all year long. Snow on top of the ground may melt in the summer. The water cannot soak into the ground. Puddles and pools of water form on top. Small plants grow on the tundra in the summer. Animals come back to the tundra to eat the plants. Some build nests in their plants. On a piece of paper or in your notebook, you're going to be completing your writing sprint to answer the question, what is an arctic tundra? You're going to be writing a quick summary of today's reading in your own words. I want to know what you remember about what we read. Now onto our vocabulary study. On a piece of paper or in your notebook, you're going to first write the word, words, arctic tundra. Then you're going to look back at the text to find the meaning. Then you're going to write the sentence where the word is highlighted in yellow. Then you're going to draw a picture of the word. Then you're going to tell me whether the word is a noun, verb, adjective, or adverb. And then you're going to give me a synonym or a similar word. Now onto our seat work. 
On a piece of paper or in your notebook, write the number of each line. Then, look back at the read aloud to find the missing words. Write the missing words next to the number in, on your paper or in your notebook. Seat work was our final task for today. See you tomorrow. The first vocabulary word is environment. An environment is all the living and non-living things in a place. Our second vocabulary word is biome. A biome is a place with certain kinds of living and non-living things. Our third vocabulary word is adaptation. An adaptation is a body part or way of acting that helps a living thing survive. Our fourth vocabulary word is desert. A desert is a place with hot, dry weather. Our fifth vocabulary word is migrate. Migrate is to move from one place to another. Our sixth vocabulary word is grassland. A grassland is a place with many grasses. Our seventh vocabulary word is forest. Forest is a place with many trees. Our eighth vocabulary word is mimicry. Mimicry is when one thing pretends to be another thing. And our last and final vocabulary word for chapter one is Arctic tundra. Arctic tundra is a cold place above the Arctic Circle. Our purpose for reading today is to be able to explain how adaptations help arctic plants. What adaptations help arctic plants? Arctic plants have adaptations that help them survive. Their roots stay close to the top of the ground. This helps them gut water. Some arctic plants have no roots at all. Animal plants stay short and small. This protects them from the cold and the wind. Many plants on the tundra grow in clumps. This protects them from the wind and cold. The dark colors of the arctic flowers also helps the plants. They attract animals that can help spread seeds. This lets new plants grow. Now onto our writing sprint. On a piece of paper or in your notebook, you're going to be be completing the writing sprint to answer the question, how do adaptations help arctic plants? You're going to be writing a quick summary of today's reading in your own words. I want to know what you remember about what we read. Now onto our seat work. On a piece of paper or in your notebook, write the number of each line. Then, look back at the read aloud to find the missing words. Write the missing words next to the number on your paper or in your notebook. Summarize the main idea in a few short sentences for number 18. Seat work was our final task for today. See you tomorrow. First vocabulary word is environment. An environment is all the living and non-living things in a place. Our second vocabulary word is biome. A biome is a place with certain kinds of living and non-living things. Our third vocabulary word is adaptation. An adaptation is a body part or way of acting that helps a living thing survive. Our fourth vocabulary word is desert. A desert is a place with hot, dry weather. Our fifth vocabulary word is migrate. Migrate is to move from one place to another. Our sixth vocabulary word is grassland. A grassland is a place with many grasses. Our seventh vocabulary word is forest. Forest is a place with many trees. Our eighth vocabulary word is mimicry. Mimicry is when one thing pretends to be another thing. And our last and final vocabulary word for chapter one is Arctic tundra. Arctic tundra is a cold place above the Arctic Circle. Our purpose for reading today is to be able to explain how adaptations help arctic animals. What adaptations help arctic animals? Arctic animals have adaptations that help them stay warm. Some have small legs and arms to keep them from losing heat. Some have heavy fur that protects them from the cold. A thick layer of fat keeps their bodies warm. Other adaptations help arctic animals move on snow and ice. Some have wide feet. This helps them stay on top of the snow.
Sharp claws keep them from slipping on ice. Now onto our writing sprint. On a piece of paper or in your notebook, you're going to be doing the writing sprint to answer the question, how do adaptations help Arctic animals? You're going to be writing a quick summary of today's reading in your own words. I want to know what you remember about what we've read. Now onto our seat work. On a piece of paper or in your notebook, write the number of each sentence. Write the word from the word bank that goes with each sentence. Seat work was our final task for today. See you tomorrow. First vocabulary word is environment. An environment is all the living and non-living things in a place. Our second vocabulary word is biome. A biome is a place with certain kinds of living and non-living things. Our third vocabulary word is adaptation. An adaptation is a body part or way of acting that helps a living thing survive. Our fourth vocabulary word is desert. A desert is a place with hot, dry weather. Our fifth vocabulary word is migrate. Migrate is to move from one place to another. Our sixth vocabulary word is grassland. A grassland is a place with many grasses. Our seventh vocabulary word is forest. Forest is a place with many trees. Our eighth vocabulary word is mimicry. Mimicry is when one thing pretends to be another thing. And our last and final vocabulary word for chapter one is Arctic Tundra. Arctic Tundra is a cold place above the Arctic Circle. Our purpose for reading today is to be able to identify Arctic animal adaptations. What are some other Arctic animal adaptations? Many Arctic animals migrate each year. They move from one place to another. Caribou, tundra swans, and Canadian geese are examples. These animals cannot survive the bitter cold winters, so they migrate south where it is warmer and where they can find food. The Arctic tundra will get warmer in spring Plants will grow again. Animals that migrated south will return. Some Arctic animals change color with the seasons. The Arctic hare and fox are examples. This adaptation helps them blend in with their environment. It keeps them safe and sound from others. On a piece of paper or in your notebook, you're going to be completing today's writing sprint that to answer the question, what are some Arctic animal adaptations. Write a quick summary of today's reading in your own words. I want to know what you remember about what we read. Now on to our vocabulary study. On a piece of paper or in your notebook, write down the word migrate. Then write down the meaning of the word. Then write the sentence where the word is highlighted in yellow from the story. Then draw a picture of the word. Then tell me whether the word is a noun, verb, adjective, or adverb. And finally, give me a synonym, which is a similar word. Now on to our seat work. On a piece of paper or in your notebook, write the number of each missing space. Write the missing words next to the number on your paper or in your notebook. Seat work was our final task for today. See you tomorrow. <laughs> vocabulary word is environment. An environment is all the living and non-living things in a place. Our second vocabulary word is biome. A biome is a place with certain kinds of living and non-living things. Our third vocabulary word is adaptation. An adaptation is a body part or way of acting that helps a living thing survive. Our fourth vocabulary word is desert. A desert is a place with hot, dry weather. Our fifth vocabulary word is migrate. Migrate is to move from one place to another. Our sixth vocabulary word is grassland. A grassland is a place with many grasses. Our seventh vocabulary word is forest. Forest is a place with many trees. 
our eighth vocabulary word is mimicry. Mimicry is when one thing pretends to be another thing. And our last and final vocabulary word for chapter one is Arctic tundra. Arctic tundra is a cold place above the Arctic Circle. On to our seat work for today. On a piece of paper or in your notebook, write the number of each sentence. Then, write the word from the word bank that goes with the sentence. To finish up this week, I want you to tell me what you know. You're going to be answering the question, what are adaptations and how do they help living things survive? You're going to be writing a paragraph. Don't forget, paragraphs have an introduction, a body, and a conclusion. See you on Monday. Have a great weekend.